Hello everybody, this is Pastor Joe and I'm Kawan. She's back. Uh -huh. <laughs> so today's question is this. Does Christ's death mean all our sin can be forgiven? Yes, mm -hmm. because Christ's death on the cross fully paid the penalty for our sin. God will remember our sins no more. The last part is pretty important and meaningful. Um, since Christ forgiven, I mean, He paid the full price for our sins, God won't remember any sins on our side. Yeah. This is like more than forgiveness. It's like a lot of people forgive, but they still remember what happened. <laughs> Um, so this is like complete forgiveness because it's like he doesn't remember anymore. Oh, did it happen? Oh, I don't remember <laughs> it happening. That's right. So it's just so comforting. God won't remember any of our sin because of Christ's death. So let's take an illustration. <laughs> Imagine you and your friends are eating ice cream cone. <clears throat> very, very good. Unhealthy. <laughs> but at some point, you just drop your friend's ice cream cone. It's not even your own. You don't. You don't have. You don't have the clumsiness to drop your own ice cream cone. But somehow, the, the worst part is you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have money and you've already eaten your ice cream cone, so you That's can't get right. that one. And your friend <clears throat> begins to cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're in trouble, you don't have money, and you already eaten your <laughs> cone, and uh, what are you what are you gonna do, right? I mean What it, can you do? Is is your friend going to uh, forgive you? <laughs> <laughs> So, this is a very bad situation, right? Mm -hmm. What about this? <laughs> what if your uncle... Or your friendly pastor... <laughs> suddenly, he buys a better and more delicious ice cream cones. And just give it away to your friend and you. Your friend is not going to remember that you dropped their ice cream, or they're not going to be mad anymore <laughs> because they now have a bigger and better ice cream cone. Yes. Look, this one has three scoops <laughs> and it's in three different colors. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who remembers, who remembers the white? So anyway, um, <laughs> after this video clip, um, you should buy ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, listen to this carefully. But you get the idea, right? I mean, the, the whole meaning is this. Since Christ paid the full price, not just full price, it's a more than the full more price. than full price, God won't remember anything about our sins. Hmm. And He will treat us like, oh, you're so beautiful, just and holy my children. If sin is like a stain, like an ink stain, and pretend you have like ink stains all over your hands, mm -hmm. um, you can't not see that. And it's hard to see your hands as beautiful if you have ink stains all mm -hmm. over them. But Jesus um, basically gives you a new set of hands. Mm -hmm. um, so not only uh, are your hands no longer stained with ink, they never had ink on them in the first place. That's right. So, children, this is really, really um, consolation for us. God won't remember our sin because of Christ. So, um, there is a very important um, verse from Psalm 103. And would you read this? Yes. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. That's a wonderful passage. So, hmm. how far is it between east and west? 
<laughs> it's an infinite number. That's right. I mean, it never get close. Yeah. Like the east will never touch the west. That's right. What is east is never going to be west. So it's like um, God hurl our sins indefinite distance. I yeah. mean, it's just just far, far, far from us. It's like um, it's like magnets. Like when magnets repel, like it, the sin can't get anywhere close. So, as far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. <laughs> Means he won't remember. He will hide our sins indefinitely. But how is that possible, right? That's the question. And the other verse from 2 Corinthians 5.12 goes like this. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We are not righteous yet, but since Christ covered us with his perfect righteousness, God will treat us as righteous ones. So remember that like, example where I gave when your hands are like inky. Mm -hmm. So like when Jesus gives you good hands, like perfect hands that have never had ink on them. Actually his hands. Actually his hands. <laughs> Jesus takes your hands and uses them. Mm -hmm. So when God sees Jesus, um, Jesus has taken on our sin and Jesus has, yeah. So you are covered, entirely covered by Christ. So you don't have to worry about your sin after Jesus paid full price. So the conclusion is this, God will no longer remember our sins, no more because of the Christ's righteousness for us. God's grace is far, far bigger than our sins. The yep. last part is um, very important. Yes, you need to remember this. I mean, God's Remember this. God's grace is far bigger than our sins. You don't have to uh, be crushed by the guilt or feeling of um, being accused because you have Christ on your side. Sins are heavy, but God <clears throat> makes everything, God's grace makes everything light. Great. So, of course, memory verse is... Psalms 103, 12. Yes. Um, would you read it again? As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Remember, that's God's heart. That's Father's heart. So, um, the question and answer back. Does Christ's death mean all our sins can be forgiven? Yes. Because Christ's death on the cross fully paid the penalty for our sin, God will remember our sins no more. Very good. Remember this question and answer well, and mm -hmm. memorize the verse from um, Psalm 103, and think about the heart of our Father God. He won't remember your sin because of Christ. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, we need to pray. Aha! <laughs> so let's pray. <clears throat> Father, uh, what a wonderful passage uh, and one, what a wonderful memory verse uh, for today. Uh, we appreciate and we are very thankful that you um, hurl our sins from us and you don't remember um, our sins because of Christ. We know we are clothed by Christ and we are very, very grateful. And um, Christ's um, sacrifice and His grace is so comforting for us. God, would you remind us every time we feel guilty? God, would you remind us about um, Christ and His, um, His abundant grace toward us? I mean, we confess your grace is far, far bigger than our sins. So we are very thankful and um, thank you, Christ, being on our side. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. See you.